Hi friends, today I will take the topic how do we can remove the Windows Defender application control after the installation. So yesterday I will tell you the one part Windows Defender application control how to we can install and today the continuity of the last topic. So how to we can remove the Windows Defender application control. Enable unsigned system integrity policy. So we need to edit our policy and replace the policy rule with allow rules. Set option 3 enable audit mode to change the policy to audit mode only. Set option 11 disable the script enforcement. Allow all COM objects see allow COM objective registration WC policy. If I have to remove the option C also, UMC to convert the policy to kernel model fully. So I will show you how to we can remove this one this is the step as per the microsoft document they will tell us okay first of all i will tell you how to we can edit the policy so here see now your organization used the windows defender application control to block this application okay first of all we need to remove this block. How do we can do it? We need to make one policy now. Before making the policy, I will make one new folder. New folder. Folder name WPS example. download policy edit so i need to change my old policy launch policy creator single policy format same step now i have a single and repeatable mode mode then i select my folder WPS okay. WPS I select WPS then I will put the same name WPS after the name you want you just put it save then I change this name so WPS okay after that I will click next so here what the explanation we needed to Disable the script enforcement. Okay. Then the rules we will remove the disable script enforcement and unsight system integrity policy. So I will show you again. Enable audit mode to change the policy to audit mode only and disable the script enforcement. So disable the script enforcement. We already disable the script enforcement and the next enable the audit mode we already put the audit mode here is the audit mode section 3 section 11 disable the script info already we put the disable the script info in. and code enable the unsigned system integrity policy unsigned system integrity policy already enabled okay so we will click next Then we will click next. After that, we will close this one. We will go for our power sheet. The same command last time we were in, we all. We again run the same command in here.
then we will change our folder name WPS 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 so we run this command so already created then we will close no 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 we need one see it copy then go for group folder see it cp edit so i go to cp edit administration template system then the base card deploy the windows application already enabled then we need to change this one okay then apply then okay okay now i will so i now restart then i need to check if not possible then again we need to turn off the group policy so now i will update the group policy cmd command shell then gp update slash force okay so now i will restart again the system wait for the restriction okay first We will try, try to run this piece to download. So, put the application, we will try to run. Yes, now it's working. See how to now you can understand how to we can remove the WDC policy. Thank you for the view. If you like the video, just like and share and subscribe. Thank you so much.